happy Sunday. Woo, woo, woo. So day three of our lives of clearing the witch wounds. Oh my God. I am blown away at what you guys have been sharing in the group, the changes. You know, some of you are being so brave and sharing what's going on. Totally appreciate that. Um, yes, my kittens are alive and awake. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be causing trouble for the first little bit. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't shared already or you, you know, maybe there's something more that has been going on for you, I would love to just kind of start out with that. Yay, guys. Um, tell us what's been going on. I'm just going to get as many people invited. I know there's a lot of people that wanted me to make sure that I kind of get the little tag invite thing happening so that you don't miss out on live when it's actually happening live so you can join in on the fun so say hello um tell me what's been going on and we are just going to let's see there we are i wanted to make sure she got on here um some of the people i think are going to be like sleeping in um, of course, today is Sunday, traditionally a church day. Um, you know, it's funny. It's like it has been, I've been out of church longer than I've been in it. And yet there's still that imprint for me of like Sunday is church day. Sunday is the day. But now it's used as a, a day to like, okay, inner, reflect, breathe. So we're going to do our own kind of church, right? We're going to do our own kind of church. Love it. <laughs> we are coming to the church of clearing out the fucking witch wounds. That's the church that we are in today. I am on fire. Um, I don't know about you, but this course, like, is this the seven day live stream has been like knocking me on my ass in a good way. Like it's really shifting big stuff. So yeah, put in what it is shifting for you. Uh, I promise we're getting started very soon. <laughs> This is the thing with the Facebook, right? Is that you kind of have to learn to play the game. And part of it is sending out these invites because Facebook is terrible and doesn't notify everybody. So here you are in this group and it's not going to necessarily tell you, hey, there's this amazing live happening, um, right? So we're just going to do it the way that we need to do it. Um, yeah. So tell me what's been going on. What has been cooking? Um, I know I've heard some really big stuff and um, some shifts. People are stepping out, um, showing up in a much bigger way. Um, I had a realization, actually, um, Gaia, who is my anchor point, who's here today, I love it, um, was really helping me to see that part of where I was getting like sucked in yesterday was that like there's just so much energy around the um the around the drowning that was going on and i was kind of like getting pulled into that stuff um so if you felt like i was a little bit off yesterday i was i was definitely a little bit off um but still even with that like it was still a kick-ass session moving stuff out for people um we heard, I heard so much feedback. People were like, oh my God, that was amazing. And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? I barely getting started. I, I like, there's some really deep stuff that I want to get into. And I'm also getting the message of like, it's not time. We still have a lot of prep that we've got to do. So I'm like, oh, but it's not kind for me to just like rip right into it. Right. So um, I would say that if you, if you know, if you know, you're ready to go much faster than what we're doing here in this course, then feel free to reach out to me. We can do a one-on-one -on -one and, um, and blast into it. And then I will tease you a little bit. So I'm starting to get the download of what the offering is going to be, um, for where we're going after this, you know, where, cause there's, there's way more that I want to dig into like way more. And, um, and some fun pieces. So starting to get the download of a 90 day program, um, bi-weekly calls, bi-weekly one-on-ones with me. So, you know, there's going to be some awesome, awesome, awesome. I get a little more Boston accent happening <laughs> every now and then they come through like that. Right. So, um, just kind of tune into it. Don't get all up in your head about what it's going to cost, all that kind of stuff. It's like, it's about what is it going to unlock? That's what you'll always need to be looking at. 
what is this going to unlock for you? Um, anytime that you're looking at a program, um, and this is a good time, we can just kind of cover this while we're doing our invites. Anytime you are looking at taking a program, um, I love, 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 love doing the three questions. Okay, so my three questions for, um, for checking in on whether you should take a program or not. And I do everything intuitively, but my three questions are, first of all, will this be fun for me? Okay, will this be fun for me? And, um, and I've heard, uh, actually I talked to somebody and she likes to do it as a statement um, because for her that's a way of testing better. So I like questions, but you can also do it as a statement and saying, this will be fun for me. And then you can, you know, you can do muscle test of like, yes or no, this will be fun. So obviously this will be fun for me because I'm going to run it, <laughs> right? So will this be fun for me? If you get a no at this point, stop, stop. Okay. If you get a yes, then you carry on to the next level, which is to say, will this make me at least a 2x ROI? Okay. ROI, return on investment. Will this make me at least a 2x ROI? Because in my mind, if it's not making you at least, a, you know, twice your money back, that there's no point. So if you get a yes on, yes, this will make me 2x or more, then you go to the next thing, which is, is now the time. And if you get a yes to all three of those, then you sign up and you trust that the universe will bring you the money. That's the piece, okay? So we don't get in our head. That's how we get out of our head and get into our bodies and connect in with the system that's actually going to work. Because if you are intuitive, if you are in that space, if you are working that way, um, then you need to go through that process because going in your head doesn't necessarily bring you the, the things that you most need at the time that you most need them. Okay. Um, oh, thanks Shannon. Yeah. It's fun to watch people drop offers, right? Like it's, it can be fun. It's an invitation for people to do more. I'm still waiting for the universe to drop me in what the price is. I was trying to get that this morning because I got up in my head and I thought I need to have the price because we're on day three. So we need to have the price. And the universe is like, nope, you can't have the price yet. So I'm like, okay, I'll just tease them with what it is. And then we'll talk about price later. How about that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 2X, I, you know, 10X would be even better, Shannon, right? 10X ROI. That's what I'd like to go for. But um, definitely minimum 2X because if you make double your money back, right? If you spend $1,000 on a course and you get $2,000 back, is that not a good return on investment? Not to mention getting all this shit, the motherfucker out of your way. Yes. Love you guys. Oh my God. Love the hearts. This is good. Good morning, Rachel. Um, Oh, thanks, Laura. You felt it go off and then come back. Yeah. When I started responding for what was coming up. Yeah, because like there was there was some big shit coming up. Like this is really, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, lots of people do that. This is really big. This is really, you know, to make it really significant. But there is a lot of fucking shit attached to the witch wounds. There is a lot that it's going to bring up. You know, if you've been burned at the stake, you've been hung when it's not, you know, something that was your fault, that's going to bring up a lot of shit. So yeah. Oh, it feels so good to be back in my power. Oh my God. Gaia, I missed you yesterday. <laughs> Love you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, ah, my high priestess. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Um, Oh, I love it. You sat down for breakfast and you were called to be here. Oh, yay, 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 yay. This is awesome. Love you guys. Okay. Oh, Shannon, powerful. Yes, 20 times ROI. Yes, 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 yes. So, and this is the thing. It's actually, I'm going to like segue for a moment. But um, when I'm working with people, we start at 2x because like the brain can like, okay, I can, I can manage that. But then the idea is that we just keep ramping it up and you keep making a bigger demand. It's like, as you see a two X ROI come in, then it's like, great, let's, let's go for four. Let's go for six. Let's go for 10. Like we just kind of keep cranking it up so that you keep asking for more. And as you see that that's actually coming in, you start to trust that that can come in. Then it is, it's possible to ask for more as possible to have more show up right? Okay. Well, we did say we were looking at money stuff in this, in this group. So that's not really a total segue. Yay. Um, <laughs> good morning, Grace. Good morning, Laura. Love it. Love it. Mary Ann. We got lots of people joining in. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. 
it's so interesting. You know, the first, um, the first live, it says that there was like a thousand views on that first live on day one. How epic is that? Because there's like just under 300 people in this group. So I'm thinking some people have watched this a couple of times or, or somehow people are able to share it outside the group, which is totally awesome. Um, speaking of which, if you have other friends who have not heard about this, and you know that they, you know, they could use it, which is pretty much everybody. Um, because I would venture a guess to say that we all have been affected by this in some way, shape, or form, right? So I was explaining to somebody this way that, um, so even if we take Salem, which is like the most notorious. So everybody in the town of Salem was affected by this, whether you were charged, not charged, hung, not hung every single person in the town was affected in some way, shape or form, and it has a huge imprint. Then we have, you know, it has spread out to the, the town surrounding, the fear gets spread out. The, you know, what is going on, people are hearing about it in surrounding towns. So all of those surrounding towns are all affected. So you've got all of that lineage. And then we've got all of Europe, it's spread across, and this kind of mass hysteria ends up spreading across. So it doesn't take long before we have an impact on pretty much every single human being. And, and then there's also the fact of like all of the stories that we've been told, all of the movies that we've watched, and it's tweaked memories. And my personal viewpoint of you know, who we are and how we live is that we are, we're all one. We're all one. So you've actually all, experienced being burned at the stake you've all experienced being hung being drowned um, accusing people not accusing people being part of the mass hysteria being part of the crowd feeling like you can't do anything about it we've all have those experiences because we're actually all one um, so no matter which way we we slice it and dice it um, this impacts everyone and to me this impacts us as women in particular because so much of it was targeted at women and just targeted at women because we were women and all of the other things where, you know, we were targeted as women because we were women, right? So it's the imprint that is there and the imprint that needs to go away so that we can stand and shine and be brilliant and have our voice in the world and, you know, get out there who we are and how we need to show up and what our magnificence is. So I, I know for myself that doing this clearing um, on myself has been epic and it has allowed me to actually do this, to do this course. I never would have, like I was trying to stay away from all the super woo, all the witchy stuff. I was like, no, that's just, you know, I'm just, you know, wanting to copy other people. And, and then it was like, the call was just so fucking strong. I couldn't ignore it anymore. And I was like, that's it. It's time. I'm ready. I'm ready to bring this, to tackle this subject, to dismantle what has been held in our systems for way too long, way too long. So, whew, yeah, on fire today, on fire. <laughs> you guys are in for a good one today. <sighs> oh, they're all good. Okay, so here's what dropped in for me this morning, because again, like I said, I am totally, I have like very little agenda. I am showing up, I am being present, and I'm doing what I'm told. So this is it. We are going to tackle all of the, the judgment that we have, that others have, the judgment about the witch hunts being wrong, about people being killed being wrong. And this is going to challenge a lot of people. Thanks, sorry. This is really going to challenge a lot of people because we love to dig in and make things wrong and make them significant and make it so that it's like you are wrong so that I get to be right. Okay. And this is the piece. We really want to look at this because here's the bullshit in this is that the moment that you hold on to the fact that you are right, you fuck yourself up the ass. Okay like it's, it's total potty mouth it's not holding anything back. You really do fuck yourself up the ass because if you are right, then you hold no space. It, it, you get locked into that, that viewpoint. You get locked into holding that space and time 
and that's the only thing that that is allowed to be so in moving out of the judgment and the significance and you know having all of this shit be wrong we actually create a ton of freedom for ourselves fucked without lubrication <laughs> oh my god yes 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 yeah, fucked up the ass without any lube it's not a good thing it's not a good thing um that's all guys fault because she always talks about sex so then you know <laughs> i love you but it's true it's like when we attach and and really hold on to being right and and i get it like here's where it comes from is that we've had millennia of being made wrong we've had millennia of you're wrong this is wrong you're doing it wrong you've got the system wrong you've got the structure wrong you can't do your plant medicine you can't you know heal people you can't you like you've been told over and over again that you're wrong and so the moment that you've got something you think is right you get it right and you're like i'm hanging on to that i'm fucking hanging on to that right you're like mm, death grip on it i'm right oh i'm right i'm so right but you limit yourself you limit yourself in the moment that you make the the right thing you know locked in is that we limit it because the reality is is that times will change life changes and maybe it was right for a second maybe it was right for a year maybe it was right for a century but it doesn't necessarily continue to be right because the reality is is that there's actually no right or wrong in anything there's there is no right or wrong in anything i'm not right in doing this course i'm not wrong in doing this course it's just we are having this experience this is the it just is the time is the time for this experience to happen um is it right am i doing it right maybe maybe not maybe i'm doing it all wrong but it's still working either way right right for now yeah absolutely even the original sin yeah fuck yeah right um cool oh, i feel so good to be so fired up again yay <laughs> yesterday i was drowning um but it was still good it was what we need right sometimes we need to stir things up in order to get them moving out so yeah so tell me let's put in the comments Tell me where you are holding on to or what you think was wrong. Like what, what needs to move out for you guys? I mean, I have some ideas. I have some things dropping in, but I really, really am committed to making this very interactive. And you guys have just been amazing with all the comments. You're fucking blowing me away. I've never had interactive lives this much live interaction before. It's fucking awesome. Um, so total gratitude. Yes. Um, it's just what it is, no right or wrong, be in the flow. Absolutely. But let's take a look because it's like we do have, like, you know, Michelle, even for you, it's like there's, I'm going to get you to dig deep, right? Like I sit in the place of there's no right or wrong. And yet then, and then if we drop in, we say, okay, well, where do I maybe still hold a little bit of this is wrong? This is wrong, right? Um, Awesome, Lori. I'm wrong for not believing in myself. Yeah, cool. Okay, what else is going on for you guys? What else are you finding you feel is wrong about what happened with the witch wounds, with the witch hunts, um, with that whole time period? What was wrong? Let's let's look at it. Like, and it's it's not about like you're hor you know you're not enlightened because we're actually admitting to what you feel is wrong it's like let's get the shit out of our bodies out of our systems clear it for all um i was wrong for being powerful oh fuck yes that's a super one love it i love it um i'm long for not wrong for not changing learning growing fast enough oh yeah you know so many are hanging on to that one for sure good you guys keep putting it in put all of those pieces in let's let's just move as much of this shit out today as possible um yeah 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 because it feels like it's like just to kind of move some of these judgments will will really open up space for some of the deeper stuff that we're going to do on the program so the more that we can move it and even if you don't do the program 
all this shit's going to be so good for you. Like everybody. Yay. Wrong for speaking. Oh yes. Marianne, love it. Um, the bastards were wrong for rape and torture of me and my soul. Yeah. It was wrong to accuse women to protect myself. Mm, I feel that. Nice deep breath. Expand out. Wrong for trusting people. Persecution. The judgment. The betrayal felt so wrong. Yeah. All of those things. Good. Okay. So let's clear a bit of this <laughs> before it gets super heavy. Um, so you're just going to rub here on the forehead. Uh, my one-armed one bandit glasses here. And, uh, and then we're just going to, we're just going to do some statement clears. These are really like the statement clears are kind of like the first layer of, uh, of the ways to clear it. And I find it's a super easy method, but basically this rubbing, you can rub here or you can just place your fingers here and take a deep breath. Or if you like the EFT tapping and you want to go that route, you can, all of it's good. All of it works. It's energy. It's super easy. It moves because you intend for the fucking shit to move. Okay. So where are we going to start here? Um, I'm going to start with Michelle's. I love this piece about the power. <clears throat> um, and let's go with the statement. It's safe for me to be powerful. Okay. So you're going to say that out loud. It's safe for me to be powerful and you can take a deep breath and just move that shit out. It's safe for me to be powerful. There we go. Feel that starting to move. Good. Whew. There we go. It's safe for me to be powerful. Safe for me to be powerful. Yeah. And this is one of the topics that I, I'm, I've got on deck for um, for the program, doing some really deep root clears on this piece. But this container is not quite ready for it. So we're going to do it this way to start out with, get some ease, get it opened up so that we can do the deeper work, right? Okay. And then it's safe for me not to be powerful. It's safe for me not to be powerful. Good. Okay. Um, and then let's continue on that topic just for a little bit. I want, um, let's go to, uh, it's okay for me to be powerful. Yeah, that one's moving a lot faster now. See, the safety piece is probably going to be a really big theme in all of these because what happened really triggered our ability to feel safe. It, we weren't safe. Like the reality is we were not safe. Whether you were charged or not charged, you were not safe. And so clearing out this piece where we still don't feel safe is, is really core and foundational for what we're doing. It's fucking epic. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, it's okay for me not to be powerful. So you're going to say that now. It's okay for me not to be powerful. I'm just going to put my arm down for a second. You can keep going. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, those of you who are just joining in, so we're getting right into doing some clearing. All of the stuff that is in the feed right now is all the stuff that we're um, we're going to get to as much of that as we can and clear that out so that we have more freedom today. Good. Um, so the next one that's popping up is about trusting people. Alpita, that was so good. So on point. Okay. So let's go here. So you're going to rub. And I want you to say, it's safe for me to trust again. Okay. It's safe for me to trust again. You guys just keep going with that. It's safe for me to trust again. Almost clear. Almost clear. Ooh, yep. Apparently I'm going to clear all the ways. <laughs> Yawning, burping, farting, anything is a sign, is actually a sign of your body clearing. So if you're having any of those reactions, it's all good. Welcome it. Recognize that it's your body clearing it out. So 
Oh, it's safe for me to trust people again. See, we're gonna get all of it. The yawns. Good. <laughs> Love you guys. And it's safe for me not to trust again. So we always want to get the opposite side because we have shit on both sides of it. Right? Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Chris, my my sense of humor is like, yeah, we're giving it all up to God today. <laughs> giving it up to Jesus. <laughs> I have a friend of mine who always says, you know, we need to get off the cross because we need the we need the timber for the fires. <laughs> And of course, we're moving into winter time here in Canada, so it's kind of appropriate. It's like, yeah, we need the wood for the fires <laughs> to stay warm this winter. Um, of course, the whole wood and fire thing is like ironic as well. <laughs> I know. I, I love to bring humor into things. I, I find that sometimes if we can make fun of what's going on, when we can make fun of things that are significant and heavy, um, it starts to shake the hold that it has on us, right? So, you know, you may be thinking that I am like so irreverent and I am. I just want you to break free and I will do whatever. If that requires me to stand on my head to get you to break free, then I will do my best to stand on my head to get you to break free because this is what I am here for. I am here to open things up. I am a catalyst of change. That is who I am. You hang around me things are going to fucking change. So you show up on my lives, things are going to change. You hang around, you watch my videos, you get in my groups, you are in my containers and things fucking change, right Gaia? Things fucking change just by being around me. Um, which is part of why I have a very small circle of inner friends. Um, because I am always creating change for people and I need to monitor and self care. Okay. Side segue. I don't know why that needed to come through right now, but it did apparently. Okay, let's look at um, speaking. That's definitely the next one that's popping up. So it is safe for me to speak again. And I feel like I want to take that one deeper. Um, let's go with it's safe for me to speak my truth. That feels like that resonates a little better. It's safe for me to speak my truth. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> keep breathing, keep running that one. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. It's safe for me to speak my truth again. All right. And then, of course, we're going to look at the opposite. It's safe for me not to speak my truth again. Oh, thanks, Marianne. Great. It's always good to get that confirmation. Like, because, you know, it's so funny. It's like sometimes you say a statement, and it's like, um, uh, no, 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 let's just tweak it, tweak it. And then we get something, and it's like, bam, that's it. That's the piece that just, it's like, that's that key. It just unlocks it. I love this work. I absolutely love this work. Um, okay. Whew. So let's do that one with, it's okay for me to speak my truth. Okay, that one's a little bit, it's okay for me not to speak my truth. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Yeah. And then, um, and then we're also going to go with, uh, I am allowed, I'm allowed to speak my truth, right? Because that's a, that's a big part of what was going on too, is that you weren't allowed. We weren't allowed. Like that was the thing. It's like, if you spoke out, you suffered, more people suffered. You, so it was so clear that you weren't allowed So keep running that. I'm allowed to speak my truth. Oh, that's moving. That's moving. This is nice. I'm allowed to speak my truth. And I'm allowed to not speak my truth. Good. 
Good. Good. And here's the thing with a group is that some statements are really going to resonate with you and some aren't as much. Um, but what I do is I tune into the collective. So what is going on with everyone who is here and with everyone who's going to watch this live later. Um, so in that, we're pulling statements that are there for the collective. And so when when you're running it, so for the next ones that we, we start running, I want you to start being aware of letting yourself connect with the collective and that you're clearing it not just for you, but for everyone in the collective, everyone who has chosen to be in this container, okay? The people who are choosing to come, who are choosing to play, and who are saying yes to being along the ride because everyone has a choice whether they, they, they clear it or not. Um, and we don't know why. We don't know why someone might need to hang on to it. It's not our place. Um, but if we make that wrong, that they're not clearing, that's still another piece of this thing of where our judgments will lock us up. So the minute that we make someone else wrong for their choice, we get to be locked up. So, um, yes. Yeah. Lori, definitely the, the piece of like feeling like you need to hide and keep it in secret, like you think about that, that whole time frame, it wasn't safe, <laughs> love you guys, it wasn't okay and it wasn't safe for us to be fully visible, you know, whether we were doing healing or plant medicine work or, um, you know, healing with herbs or just being powerful as a woman, um, that wasn't okay, that wasn't a didn't get done in public. We couldn't do it on the main streets. It had to be very quiet, very secret, right? All of those things. Yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Always love it. Okay. Where do we need to go next? Just look over what's here. Okay, so the next one that's popping up for me is the persecution. So lots of expanding out, okay? Lots of expanding out because this is a bigger one, not to make it significant, but lots of expanding out, okay? So I'm okay with having been persecuted. Yeah, and we're going to need to clear a lot of angles on this one, so, right, this is big, I'm okay with having been persecuted, this is like really having this piece, it's kind of like, I can see it unlocking very slowly at, at first, unlocking where you keep throwing energetic daggers at the people who persecuted you. The people who created these rules and this way of engaging. And you guys can keep going. I'm just going to put my arm down for a second. Um, it's, yeah. Um, expand out. Expand out. Lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff. We're moving it. I'm okay with having been persecuted. Yeah. And Grace, it will, you know, it's like, this is the thing. It's like when there's, when there is a other shit ton of crap on something, it's going to be almost impossible to say. So when it's hard to say, just do this, do the breathing, and then you'll get to the place where it's like, okay, now I can say it. And then you'll clear more. And then you say it again and you'll clear more. Okay. Um, so then let's get it from the angle of, it's safe for me to forgive those who persecuted me. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of stuff in this. I know. Yeah, 
Definitely, Tanya. We end up feeling isolated from each other with, with what went on, and this, that's a huge part of it. Oh my God. Sorry, not sorry. This is big today. I'm gonna clear this shit out. And what's crazy is that, like, I have some deeper shit planned for the group. Oh my God. <laughs> like, so, but it's good. Like, the freedom that comes from this is fucking epic. So, it's safe for me to forgive those who persecuted me. I know. We're probably going to hang out and spend a little bit of time on this because, like, this is one of the core pieces. Yeah, definitely, Lori. They all had their purpose. And, and here's the interesting thing. Like, you guys keep going with that. But when, when we clear the shit, when we clear it, we naturally get to the space where it's like, oh, there's the gift right? So many people try to rush this process and try to get to like, what's the gift, right? What's the gift in it? <clears throat> but if you're not actually, you know, free of the bullshit, free of the energetic charge, free of all of those holds, um, rushing to the gift is not a kindness. It happens naturally. I see it over and over again. So, and, you know, I worked with somebody who, um, who had been through a satanic cult and the hold and the crap and you guys expand out with this. Okay. Um, but the hold and the crap of what happened and what transpired and you know, what she was conditioned to be and bred to be doing was massive. And there was a lot of resistance to get into this place of like embracing all of that. Um, but in clearing it, in clearing the hold, she naturally shifted right over to, oh, well, actually, that helps me to do X, Y, Z. Like, I didn't have to lead her anywhere. We didn't have to get there. And this is the thing. It's like we just, when we clear it, you will, then that's the, one of the indications for me that it's cleared, is that you actually can feel the gift. Okay, so we don't need to even discuss what the gift is. When, we, when it's clear, you will feel the gift. And so that's part of your indication that it's clear. When you get to the place where it's like, oh, I, you know, it wasn't the best thing to be persecuted, but you know what? I wouldn't have gotten X, Y, Z, okay? So it's safe for me not to forgive oof, those that persecuted me. I love you, Gaia, thank you. It's safe for me not to forgive those that persecuted me. <laughs> Definitely. We always feel the energy shift. I love it. That's why I love this stuff. It's just so fucking powerful. It's safe for me not to forgive those that persecuted me. And yeah, like this is really, Michelle, definitely, this is a hard one to forgive because, you know, we don't want to. We want to make it really wrong that, that, the, that what they did. And definitely in the whole space of, you know, death, death in general, like this planet, the people on this planet, uh, make death like the ultimate wrongness, which you don't get out alive. Don't tell anyone, but you don't get out alive, right? You know, it's like, it's inevitable. We can't avoid it. And yet we're going to make it motherfucking wrong. <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the biggest wrongness. And it's the one thing that we can't avoid. It's fucking crazy, right? It's absolutely crazy. But you know, it's like I said, it's like as we clear all of this stuff, then it's going to get it's going to get easier for us to actually move through the sp space where, you know, all of these topics aren't a charge. They're just things that happen. They're just things that are going on in the world. Um, so cool. How are you doing with the forgiveness piece? So it's safe for me to forgive those that persecuted me. Actually, that feels pretty good. Um, let's try. I'm I'm OK with forgiving those that persecuted me. Yeah, it's a little bit of stuff on there. Okay, move on that one for a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. I'm okay to forgive those who persecuted me. Mm. Yeah, good awareness, Grace. Yep, it's gonna bring up rage for sure, for sure, for sure.
Yeah. <laughs> Crazy contracts. Constructs give us more drama to clear. Okay. So I'm okay to not forgive those who persecuted me. Not as much stuff on that. <laughs> trauma, drama, same thing, Lori, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, those of you who feel you're clear for yourselves, then I want you to hold space to clear for everybody else in the collective as well on this. Because this is really, you know, there's a lot of charge. There's a lot of charge on this for people. So moving it out. It's okay for me not to forgive those who persecuted me. And if you're just joining us midstream, it may or may not make sense. You may want to opt to come back and catch the replay um, so that you're in the flow of it, but everyone gets to decide what works for them, okay? Love it, love it, love it. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Okay, you guys keep clearing that. I'm gonna run a little bit of energy here for you just to help make that a little easier on your system. Shaking that loose from the DNA. This is just this little, yeah. There's little pieces in there that can just make this a little easier. Holy cow. It's crazy. Free program or not free program, I'm like, let's go full out, right? <laughs> oh, that's a cool idea. Tapping on the back of your neck and clearing another level. Sure. You know, it's like follow what your body needs. You know, if it feels like you need to tap somewhere else, maybe you want to like rub on the kidney point here and have that move out because there could be some fear in there. Just a little bit right so do what your body guides you to do there's no wrong in this it's one of the things i love about energy work is that it's so forgiving um because the majority of what is going on is is the intention um so having coming to a place where there's a container coming to a place where it's like okay it's now safe for me to to be here and to look at this and to move through it. Um, that to me is, is more movement than an actual system or structure. Um, and yet, you know, some of those, some of the tools are fantastic because it gives you something that is like, okay, I can lean on this until I know what's going to work for me. Right. But ultimately it is, um, Oh, good point, Jesse. Yeah, resistance is down. There's been a lot of people who have jumped off. <laughs> so I've been watching the numbers go up, go down, go up, go down. It's very interesting. Um, so good for you for staying. Absolutely. Right. So we're just going to make that a little easier in the system. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, maybe run. Um, I'm allowed to forgive my persecutors. Oh, nice, Michelle. Seeing the people leave your energy field. Yeah. Um, Odette, no worries that people have been jumping in, jumping off. You know, if it feels like you need to come back and watch the replay um, so that you catch up, like, do it. Do what feels right for your body you know, because I'm kind of like mid in the clearing. <laughs> and and we popped in on like the really big one where we're forgiving our persecutors so that we can have more freedom. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I am allowed to forgive my persecutors. <sighs> nice deep breath. Oof. Lots of breathing. Lots of breathing. 
and I'm allowed to not forgive my persecutors. So you guys keep running the breathing here. I'm just going to run, keep running the energy. Because it is. Yeah, resistance with allowing, for sure. Because <sighs> here's, here's the funny thing, like, um, you know, a lot of the, the system, so to speak, a lot of, you know, where we have feel like we've got it right is in making other people wrong. Um, and so, like, on a, on a bigger level, so many people buy into this idea that in order to create change, I need to make something wrong. And I see this a lot with, um, you know, where, where people are doing, um, sorry, it's hard for me to do two things at once. Apparently I can't talk and run this energy. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to this. Um, oh, pain in your jaw is cleared. How fun. I love it. I love it. You shift so easily. You really do. Um, God, join us for the big program. This would like blow your mind, really. Fucking blow your mind. Um, so, yep. Apparently, I need to shut up. <laughs> keep breathing. Keep running whatever statements still feel like they have some charge for you. We're opening up the DNA here. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get everybody to put your feet on the floor. Open up the soles of your feet. Ooh. And let all the residue drain out of your feet. Okay, so we've kind of like created a bit of energetic waste matter in the system, and we just want to drain that out. So it's really fabulous fertilizer for the earth. be recycled. Yeah, Rachel, you're definitely welcome to run that statement. It's okay to feel anger. Um, it's okay to have all your feelings, right? None of it's wrong. None of it's wrong. So it may or may not make sense. Those of you who have been joining us midstream, um, so do, do what works for you. Stay or choose to come back and watch the replay once it's up live, which will be shortly. I will go as long as we need to with this. I want to make sure that we at least wrap this piece up and have a container around the piece of forgiving our prosecutors because um, it feels important to just make sure that that's got some space. So really opening up the soles of your feet, letting that drain out. Okay to release it. Nice. That's coming, that's coming. Okay. <sighs> yeah, definitely grace, humiliation. So there are like lots of topics we can get into, um, as you can see, lots and lots and lots. Um, 
and in the in the bigger program when we do the root clears a lot of this stuff is gonna it's gonna melt away um but in the meantime i love what marilyn she ran with the uh, ho'oponopono on everyone in her life uh and lives in this morning and it's like yeah that creates a lot of freedom doing this um and yeah guy i love it letting go of the hatred you take your power and your energy back absolutely that was where i was going thank you for bringing me back um so the people that are doing protests and getting angry in order to create change um there's a time and a place when that actually works but for the majority of things to really create some deep lasting sustainable change um, we actually need to kind of like infiltrate the system and create deeper changes inside the system and so having the hatred doesn't serve us long term um, because when we're still caught up in the hatred it's really hard to come up with creative solutions for bigger change and in changing us we change the world we change how things get vibrating out we change like that ripple out happens so it's time for the be the virus in the matrix yes <laughs> the virus of change virus of change um it's time for that to ripple out it's time for us to like really take hold of like what is ours what needs to clear out of our system in a really deep way and you know and what's the best way to do that so yeah oh lots of clearing lots of clearing absolutely michelle you get locked in and there's no room for change with the hatred it is so true it's like that piece we just get looping around and around and i think i think that's a big part of why this whole topic locks a lot of people up is because there's that there is that hatred and there is that anger and the resentment and all of those feelings but you don't really have anything to put your finger on it because you know on a regular basis we don't we, we're not sitting and talking and going oh yeah well that was from the 16th century or 15th century or you know that was from when this happened and so now it's like you know unless you're like a crazy woo person like me who's always digging in and going i wonder what lifetime that shit was from right um, but typically people aren't looking at that. And so they're looking for something today to, you know, to make sense of why they're so angry, why they're so afraid and it doesn't make sense. And so the thing that happens is that we go to make ourselves wrong. Like, you know, for me, I was like, it doesn't really make sense. The, the depth of, I can't go forward in my business. I can't like, you know, for years, there was always a stopping point and I've done a lot of work and I've been able to move forward quite a bit, but there's always been that, that piece of like, uh, 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 right. And I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so honestly, when I really started to dive into this, I was like, Oh, motherfucker, this is like, no wonder if I'm afraid of being burned at the stake, for moving forward in my business. There's no fucking way I'm gonna move forward in my business, right? You can logic it all to death, I can take, and I did, I did a lot of coaching, I've done a lot of programs, and I get it, I get it, I get what I need to do. And it's not until I've been clearing this out at a really deep level that I've actually been willing to show up and do what I need to do, like really show up and do what I need to do. So that's that's why that's why this this is now that's why this time is like so i would really implore each of you to think about it if you have been in this place of i'm not moving forward in my business the way that i know that i should the way that i know that my talents need to get out there i know that i'm brilliant because everybody fucking tells me i'm brilliant and yet you're not getting there you're not doing that action then you know start checking in start testing whether or not this bigger program that's coming which i still need to get the price on um 90 days to clear the the deeper witch wounds whether this is actually the piece that's going to be the piece today now and really get things moving in a bigger way so yes 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 right um because this is epic. This is really epic. And honestly, honestly, like as deep as we've gone in each of these calls, and I, and I know a lot of people have said, holy fuck, um, it's deeper. There's more. 
there is more. We like what I've got planned, <laughs> what's coming in, what I'm being told, all of the activations that are going to fucking happen. Like I'm being starting to be shown just, you know, I'm just starting to be shown tips of it. It's like fucking epic. I'm so excited. Um, does it matter which hand is clear? No, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Energy is not that picky. Really not. You could do it wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, you could do it wrong. It'll still work. It's all good. Cool. Okay. Hopefully you guys feel a little more subtle with that. Um, you can keep playing around with the statements. If it feels like the piece around the prosecutors is not fully cleared, keep running all kinds of different variations on that for yourself. Um, that I'm allowed, I'm okay, it's safe, I'm willing might be a piece that for a number of you. Um, so I'm willing to forgive them. And then when the charge comes down enough, then do like what we did in the last live where we ran the whole ponopono um, on those that, that we had persecuted. So now we're gonna run the whole ponopono on those that persecuted us, right? Because they are us, we are them, we're all one. Um, but we just need to just unlock these pieces so that we have more freedom, we have more choice. That's the beauty of this. It is creating so much freedom and so much choice in your lives. Yes. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Feeling full of pure light and okay to be you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, Alpita uses both hands for tapping. Um, yes to 90 days. It's been many lifetimes, right? It's been many lifetimes. Let's fucking get it out in 90 days because it is fucking time, right? Ah, uh, yes, Michelle. I love having you in my groups. Your energy is fucking phenomenal. I, and I just fucking, you know, you know I want to see you shine. I've been saying this to you for a long time. You are so incredible for so many people. Jesse, yes, I fucking love you too. You are another one. You are epically strong. Um, yes, 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 yes. Good. Deeper forgiveness, Lori. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, mm. uh, I'm so honored. I'm so honored by all of you. You are being super brave, super brave. Like this is a huge topic to be tackling in this format. Um, so many layers, Rachel. Absolutely. Body pains decrease. Ah, oh, yay. Oh my God. You guys are epic, 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 epic. Like, we're just scratching the surface. Like that's the crazy thing, right? Like, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Okay. So yes, keep sharing your wins in the group. I think it's really, um, it is sparking things for people. Don't underestimate the power of you sharing what is shifting and changing because it does spark for other people, even if they don't hit the like button, which people hit the like buttons. Okay. Let's, let's, you know, let's stop hiding. Let's stop pretending that we're secretly, we need to do this in secret. Let's make it more public. Um, we have a safe container in this group. So let's use the safe container in this group to actually start moving ourselves out of secrecy into owning our gifts, into owning our power and so much more. So I wonder where we will go tomorrow. I will wait for the download. And as always, I will invite you all to join me, whether it's live or on the replay, hashtag replay if you're catching the replay, um, and do comment, play along, because it makes a big difference. Um, and again, uh, share, invite some friends, because there's still room. There's still room for more people to come and play. They can catch the replays and get caught up. Mm. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs>